So, um, so that one, I had to stop it. So, syempre, cry, cry, cry ako. Kasi, talagang yun ang field na gusto gusto ko. And I was determined to really do better and to get back. Sabi ko, parang araw talagang babalik ako. Kasi, ito talaga yung field na gusto ko. At alam ko, kaya ko eh. Pero, siguro sabi ko, I just need more time. So, at, siguro that, that's what happens pag may mga setbacks ka sa buhay. Gagawa at gagawa ka ng paraan para ma-overcome yun. Mm -hmm. So I think yan na siguro yung nakabuild ng character ko. So I would read the papers every time para alam ko talaga yung nagaganap. Mm -hmm. And then, in front of the TV. And then I would also watch the different newscasts. Talaga ini-imbibe ko talaga kung paano rin sila nagbabasa, kung ano yung body language nila, kung ano yung piece nila, yung tono ng voice nila. And then, um, I was fortunate because after a couple of months, tinawagan ako ni um, ng isang executive sa GMA, Mr. Antonio Serra. They were producing a show, a morning show with Dong Uno as host. So, silang dalawa yung nakaisip, natawagan ako. You know, parang may lumalabas dati na pwede siguro baka may potential to kahit papano. Sabi ko ba, medyo napansin naman kahit papano. So they called me and then they asked me to to try, to try it out. And then niyan, that started everything. Ano yung title ng show niya? Business Today. At that time, ang lahat ng morning show, actually walang morning show at that time, lahat mga religious programs, 100 Club, ganun. Ang programming talaga would start shortly before noon time. Yun, always, mga 10, ganun. Parang never heard, never heard. Nandun, nandun pa rin siya. Okay. So, 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 Pero, hindi, may isang nakakatawa na... May anak-dota. And ako, bakit may sasabihin ito. Hindi, ano, may... Parang may time na na-nominate kaming lahat. Tapos, ang ang ginawa nung panalo ako pa Okay na. Oh, 19 ano ba 'yon? Memorable talaga sa akin yung Star Awards. Memorable talaga sa akin yung PNPC kasi yung una-una kong award talaga na kasama ko pa talaga. Sabi ko, oh my goodness, ganyan. So, parang nalaw, nakakaano lang, nakakaano lang isipin. When you look back, pati I'm sure si Tina, I'm sure when she looks back, kasi I've seen her na a couple of times after that, wala pinagtatawanan lang namin. Pero, so yun, so, I got back sa business today, and then, and the show did very well. Parang, siya na yung, siya yung parang talagang nag-start ng morning show trend. It started everything. Talagang, 7 o'clock yun, and then, Um, daily, daily yan talaga. And then yun, talagang ang staff noon, siguro kami-kami lang. Siguro mga liba lang kaming writers. Kasama na ako sa mga writers. Wala kaming teleprompter. Talagang idiot board. Pati ako, nakadapa sa floor. Pen, pen, pen. Ito, itim na itim dahil gusto nagsusunod. Kaliwete ko, nagsusunod ako ng mga idiot board namin. And then yun ang mga news na gagamit din namin. So talagang lahat na pagdaanan namin. Then you shoot your own story. Pati yung camera. Ako yung mahawa kasi budget. Kaya ako na nagkakamera sa sarili ko. Ako nagka-interview. Ako nagsusunod. So talagang lahat ano pagdaanan ko yun. And then Dong Puno talagang su Super love ko talaga si Dong Puno. Kasama ka pala sa ano? Hindi. Actually, mahigpit pero hindi niya mararamdaman dahil mahigpit. Kasi meron siyang way of being very nice about it. So, he was always very supportive at that time. Nakita niya, medyo budget. Sabi niya, okay, out of my own pocket, bibilan ko kayo ng camera para medyo asensya naman yung dating natin. Ganon. So, yeah, that morning show. Very proud of the morning show. This is the very first in the country. And, Well, I'd start after that, tuloy-tuloy na ang dami ng morning show after that. And even the other channels 
funnel to also. So after and business then after, today, after, then business today. So I was doing business today, business and then um, so maybe after I, maybe less than a year of doing business today. Mm-hmm. Kinukuha ko uli ng news, ng evening news. Now, they were recalling me, they were asking me back. English. So, English, yeah. So, I said, ah, this is it. So, tuwang tuwa ako kasi nakabalik na ako. So, well, ay, so, nakabalik na ako doon sa evening news. And since that time, I never that left. Was so, that was, um, they were getting me back for GMA Network News. Kasama ko na si Narisa Ontiveros, Mari Caimo, and Leslie Espino. So, and then Margo Ortigas, yung aming weather reporter. So, yun yun ang ano. But after that, um, let's see, uh, before, parang at that time, um, that was the evening news, no? After that, they reformatted it. Ginawa nilang, talagang unlikely yung combination na naisip nila. Mike Enriquez at ako. Parang ang daming katanong, ha? Parang, parang, <laughs> Ang, ang strange lang ng casting, sabi nila. Pero, sige, ganun. But it turned out to be so good. Yung partnership na yun, talaga ang tawag sa akin ni Mike Enriquez, ano, tawag niya sa amin, the gruesome to some. Kasi, um, nung ginawa namin yung um, GMA Network News, di ba, English yon. Sabi nang namin, what if we try Taglish? Kasi it's always been done in uh, English. Parang no one questioned it. Pero sabi, ano kaya ko itagalog natin? Pero takot trend kami kasi ano kung mag mag ano dip yung ratings. Ganito sabi ng producer, try mo na Taglish. Ang weird talaga Taglish. May words in English tapos may words in Tagalog. So mag-shift back ka from English to Tagalog, English to Tagalog na ng script. Sabi namin, parang ang weird talaga nito. Pero sige, okay, try natin to. Aba nag ano nag shoot up yung ratings eh bin talagang ginawa na namin tagalog all the way pure tagalog and it went really really high that was a time that world tonight had to close down yes and they also they also turned their news kasi to tagalog yes so that's another thing that we started dati talaga never heard na tagalog yung late night so from that time on, everyone else went Tagalog. So after that. News, that's yung ang start ng trend? Yes, yes. Yung ang nag-start ng trend ng Tagalog. And then, I remember we went on to win the Asian, the gold medal in the Asian TV Awards. That was the very first new, Filipino newscast to win that. And yeah. then after that, short after that, we also won the gold world medal sa New York festivals. Yon mm-hmm. first ever also. Kumaten ka? Batenda ko with Mike and Enrique. Ang lamig-lamig nun, pero naka-terno ako. <laughs> so, ang lamig-lamig winter, pero yan ang mga, yan ang mga super memories talaga. Yung for every time talaga na babagsak ka, may setback, you just have to pick yourself up kasi, and just give it your best shot kasi miracles can happen. That's how, that's um, how I felt at that time. So after that, ano, um, Medyo tuloy-tuloy na yung mga opportunities. So, and then came uh, Wish Ko Lang. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So before that, I was offered eyewitness. Mm-hmm. So, apat kami noon. Mike Enriquez, Checha Lazaro, myself, um, si Jessica Soho. Yes. Ah, nag-eyewitness yes, ako. Yes, nag ako. Okay. Yun. Um, Grabe pala ang contribution sa GMA, <laughs> ha? <laughs> <laughs> Yun, ah, I like eyewitness. Naku, kahit na every time may episode kami, nagkakasakit ako kasi all out talaga yan eh. Kung mag-edit, hindi ka matutulog talaga. It's called Hell Week. Ikaw talaga yung gagawa ng lahat. I guess that's a different thing about before and now. Now, parang marami ng ibang tao work ng it. But at the time, parang konti lang talaga yung staff. So you have to do the writing, the editing, the Nakakapa. lahat. Mm-hmm. Ikaw mag-set na rin ng interviews mo, ikaw lahat, ikaw na. Stress. So, yun. So, and then, uh, syempre, nandiyan na rin yung mga overseas na coverage. Mm-hmm. Ako parating nakukuha dyan sa mga overseas na yan. Siguro kasi ako yung parating may visa. Mm-hmm. So, pag walang may ano, ay, ikaw na lang pumunta kasi kompleto parating yung yeah, mga yeah, visa ko. <laughs> <laughs> sabi ko ano ba ito so minsan pag ora-ora dahil kung ano-ano um, like nagawa ko na yung state visit ni Gloria Arroyo doon tapos kasama pa ni George W. Bush and then pati yung um, PayPal yung yung namatay si Pope John Paul tapos there was a new Pope 
yung conclave, yung pagpili ng bagong Santo Papa, nandun din ako, si Benedict. And then also, yung royal wedding, ako rin pinapunta. Gracia Burnham, ako rin ang pinapunta. Nung nanalo si Precious Lara Pigaman, walang may visa sa Japan, ako rin pinapunta. Walang camera man ang may visa, pinadalan ako ng camera. <laughs> Sabi ko, paano to? Hindi ako marunong mag-operate to. Meet mo yung cameraman sa boarding gate, tuturuan ka. So, kanagang crash course ako. Siguro mga 10 minutes, itong gagawin mo, itong gagawin mo, ganyan, ganyan. Okay, okay, sige, kaya ko na to. So, kapakapa talaga lahat. Pinagtatawa na nga ako doon kasi sabi nila, bakit yung ibang channel, may camera? Bakit ikaw wala? Ganyan. Eh, okay na to. <laughs> so, yon So, ganun ang mga experience namin. And then, um, so, parang na nga. Dami na kasi. Dami na nga. Pati si Pacquiao Mayweather, ako rin yung pinatala doon. Oo, yan. So, parang weird. Ang dami ko. Minsan, may royal wedding, may may, may conclave, sa Vaticans, may sports. May, minsan, sa Piquet, North Potobato, mga gera-gera. Ako yung ako lang tanging babae doon sa kampo. Tapos yung banyo niya, talagang parang sira siya forever and ever. So, ang dami gumagamit noon. Walang pasan yan. Kaya, <laughs> <laughs> Oo, talagang lahat. Tapos, nandiyan na yung experience mo, yung hindi ka matutulog kasi panay yung, yung kanyon. Panay pa yung, so, nasa tent ka lang sa labas. So, lahat, lahat na pagdaanan na natin. And then, yung, syempre, not to mention yung mga Yolanda natin, which went on to win the Peabody for GMA. So, at that time, I think, um, 24 hours, uh, si Mike Enriquez was on location, si Tita Mel nasa Kapuso Foundation, so they asked me to anchor um, at the studio. And then also for Saksi, mm -hmm. I was doing that as well at the same time. And those were the ones that won the Peabody for mm -hmm. GMA for Yolanda. So, it's... Hindi, hindi ka na pirates, Kapitan. Oo, oh, oh. it's secret, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and they're very happy na where I am, where I'm at. I, Parang family ko na yun eh. Magpasok po lahat ng tao, kilala ko na. Maganda na yung working environment namin. And, uh, they're like family to me. I can't see myself anywhere else. Oo. Uh, parang... Ah, uh, Oo, oh, lahat. And in fact, yung mga nakasama ko dati doon, mga, sila na yung mga senior ngayon eh. Yung mga, ano, yung mga dati nag, nagsa-start out lang, sila na yung mga senior. So, I really grew up with all of them. So, they're really family to me already. Parang we're there, ninang, ninang ninong kami sa isa't isang, mga anak ng isa't isa, ganun. So, it's a very good working relationship. Pa paano na buo ang saksi? Ang saksi? Um, saksi was there already, even before I came in. Um, Ang una niya, si Mike Enriquez and Karen. Um, I think it, at the time, it was still a 15-minute newscast or 15-minute newscast siya. Tapos, ginawa siya, parang nireformat siya. And then, yes, yes, ginawang ano. So, yun. Yun ang naging ano. So, after, so after that, um, after doing Saksi for a couple of years, um, in-invite naman ako to do 24 hours. At that time, uh, it was it would have been an automatic decision kasi syempre prime time yon. But at that time, I was really thinking about it. I had I was hesitant. I was hesitant because of family. At that time, I was starting my own family. And oh, oh, so it was very tough call to make kasi syempre nandiyan na yung schedule ko. If I did say 24, pag uwi ko, tulog na yung mga bata, wala na ako doon para sa homework, and I'd have to give all that up. Pero so, konting intriga na, oh? Ms. Vicky, kaya daw kinuha ka sa 24 oras kasi medyo lumabado yung program. I think they were looking for ways to um, make it more dynamic. Mm -hmm. So they added, hindi lang naman ako, they added other elements as well. They changed the set. Mm -hmm. Pati siguro yung storytelling, medyo binago rin. Mm -hmm. So I think they wanted us to look like a family. May showbiz, na baguettes, may ano, parang family. So, yun. And then, ano, pinalad naman kami kasi it did very well. And parang now at least, 
medyo minsan nananalo kami, minsan yung kabilang nananalo. Hindi ka sa news program, malakas talaga ang Red Quadros. Red Quadros, yes. I think when you say kasi news talagang, GMA I think is a very credible when news. Pag news talaga, yun ang naging takbuhan, lalo na pag mga may calamity, gano'n, yun GMA talaga yung binubunta ng tao. So, so, so I guess, I guess they're, I mean, new standards talaga, and I, I've seen it for myself. Um, they don't compromise. They never compromise. Um, kahit na, let's say, ano, um, ang, sa kanila mas importante yung na-verify mo kesa mauna ka. So, always check, recheck, ganon, bago mo i-broadcast siya. So, Sino yung naka-influensya sa yung mga Spanspeak, broadcaster, idol, hindi no kapag? Ah, siyempre, um, the Everyone I'm love I've worked with has been an inspiration. Like Don Uno, you know, has been an inspiration to me because uh, I guess he saw something in me and that probably changed the course of things for me, sa career ko. And then also, um, I would say Michael Riquez, very good. I mean, I really admire him. Ang galing niya talaga, lalo na, you know, um, pag wala kang script, and then may breaking news, mm. hagang tuloy-tuloy siya, and he can really speak coherently, na ang galing. Ah. Yung na so, natutunan mo kayo, Mr. Mike. Yes, yun. Yun ang natutunan ko sa kanya, yung pag may live reporting, and then you're left to your own devices, wala kang script, ikawento mo lang yung nakikita mo, in an intelligent manner, Improved. siya yun. So, that, that's, I look up to him. Pag- Pero ang galing, di ba, Matt? Hindi ka, yung iba kasi from reporter, pero ikaw, diretso na agad as newscaster, di ba? Pero, um, I guess like what I said kanina, si Tina, she really made sure na sumama muna kami sa lahat ng beat. Oh. And then naging reporter pa pala ako before pero that. Pero hindi masyadong hindi ka ano yun, hindi ka masyadong na, na tumagal mo na tumagal na as O parang ginawa ko simultaneous. So habang, oh, pinagsabay ko. So nagre-report ako at the time. Um, after I did yung mga several feeds, nag-business reporter din ako. Yan, um, medyo matagal-tagal ako nag-business feed. And then after that, um, well, I was doing business today also yung morning show. Kasi yun ang ano namin eh, business talaga. So ang mga interviews namin with newsmakers, political, mga business persons, stock market analysts, it was all very he- heavy business. Mm-hmm. So, so 30 years ka na Nine, yes! Nine, 2020, 30 years ka na. Oo. Oh, oh. So 30 years na yun, in your experience, ano yung hindi mo makakalimut na na pinagdaan? Ano? Ako, ang dami. Ang dami talaga. But maybe... Yung think, pinaka. Oh, yung... Top two, top three. Sa buong career ko, that... Oh, oh. That... Yung mga memorable? Yeah. 30 long years. Um... Maybe the time I I think it was a turning point for me also the time that I had to say goodbye to this profession and then I had to get, I wanted so much to get back so yon di ba nung nung na fire ako so I I really pick myself up so I think medyo I really wanted it that badly kaya siguro gumawa talaga ako ng paraan para makapalit and then and then good enough the, the opportunity came so i guess it was a combination of luck and hard work mm-hmm. so and then after that i really did everything to keep it sabi ko hindi hindi pwedeng maulit yon kailangan talaga i have to claim this i have to be be the best i can be ayoko nang mangyari yon ulit wala ka bang na feel na mga senior mo na insecure sa iyo oh. so pasok mo kasi mas maraming senior sa iyo at that time at that time parang wala wala siguro Kung meron man, hindi ko naramdaman, pero I don't think yeah, I've ever felt that. I mean, even Jessica has been such a, you know, a, a big source of strength also. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've seen the way she approaches her records. Talagang may, it's, may compassion also, which I think no journey should ever lose. So, yeah, and then, of course, lahat ang nakatrabaho ko, pati si Tita Mel. Si Miss Merchant, kung ano masahal ko sa kanya. Nako si Tita Mel, very, pakialamera si Tita Mel. <laughs> Super yan. Which I appreciate because I like it pag 
prank ka yung tao sa akin. Mm-hmm. I always tell people, pati mga makeup artists, same stylist, pwede ba, pag meron akong 3-9 na style na hindi babay sa akin, sabihin nyo sa akin, huwag nyo, huwag nyo isipin na ma-hurt ako. I'd rather hear it from you than listen, listen to someone else saying it. Mm-hmm. So, prank ka talaga siya. Sasabihin niya sa akin kung may ayaw siya, kung okay, or kung parang ay, hindi maganda itong ganito. Ano yung man- mga napapansin niya sa'yo na sabi mo, pakialam niya, pinakikialamang cash? Usually, it's She's very, ano kasi, medyo talagang kailangan OC. Mm-hmm. Yung ano, parang hindi maganda itong ano, or parang hindi kulubot dito. Ayusin nyo yan, ganyan. Yes. <laughs> hindi nyo pa nakikita yung bra nakikita. Nagagalit siya doon. So she looks out for you. Oh. Oh, she looks out for you also. And then, magaling rin yung style ni Tita Mel actually when she broadcast. Parang you can really feel her warmth. Oh, oh. Pag ano, ang lambing ng boses. Pag ano, Kahit, you know, ang, parang magaling siya sa gano'n eh. Magaling siya mag-communicate. Mm-hmm. You give her a regular script, she'll turn it around and make it very heartwarming or very strong, malaksang natin, depending on, you know, what it calls for. Pero magaling siya sa gano'n. Hindi ka mo nagkasakit or sa araw-araw? Yes, nagkasakit ako. Nawawalan ako ng bosses. Um, parang par for the course natin. Lala ju ju yung eyewitness kasi talagang intensive yung one week na yun. Um, kasi lahat kami alternate one, first week, second week, third week, fourth week, apat na host kami. So yung pag week ko talaga, nagkakasakit talaga ako. Pagdating na ng voicing booth, paos na, wala na ako masyadong bosses. Bumumug ako ng vinegar, so ganyan. <laughs> so, so ano, um, talaga darating at darating sa point na yun. Pero siguro ngayon medyo matatag na yung katawan ko. Speaking of nagkakasakit, ngayon kasi, tatlo ang shows mo, paano mo nadidivide yung oras? Ah! May wish ka lang, wish, wish ko lang, wish ko lang, <laughs> ano, good news at saka bench, 4 oras. I guess now also, iba kasi before, syempre, struggling ka pa, so talagang mm-hmm. ikaw yung gumagawa ng hat. Pero ngayon, at least, you have a team already. Mm-hmm. Na, um, a team would help you with the research. A team will help you with, um, put things together, mm-hmm. edit for you. Hindi mo na uupo ang lahat yan. So, I'd like to think na ngayon mas systematic na. Mm-hmm. Dati kasi hands-on talaga ako kahit yung, yung lahat ng every minute of the editing, o oh, ito, ibalik to, o oh, ito, tanggalin to. You know, at least now we have a team doing that. So, mm-hmm. yung executive time mo, doon na lang sa susulat or sa ibang bagay, thinking of the direction of your story kesa dun sa mga um, tasks, yung mga mas mas maguriri na task. Oo, oh, oh, namuwasan so, ng trabaho. Oo, oh, oh, yun. Mm-hmm. So, and then now, you can be more systematic. Now, you have the cell phone dati, wala naman tayo oh. ganyan. And then, um, I guess it's very different now also kasi dati, walang live. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, pwede ka na maging dati. Talagang tape lang, tapos iba pa to. Oh. Tatagong pa sa studio. Pero ngayon, at least Magaan na. new technology has allowed us to be more efficient, you know, mm-hmm. with our news gathering. So now then it's a matter of scheduling also. I guess pag the more the more you have things on your plate, the more you try to be efficient. Ay, kilig na kilig ako. <laughs> Biglang naisip ko, mga... Oh, ano po niya ang reaction mo sa oh, oh. job? Naku, alam mo yan, di ba? Tuwang-tuwa ako talaga sa akin. Oh my God, alam talaga. Sa, alam mo na sabi niya, Ay, may, may PMPC family. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kaya yung mga faces niyo talaga yung biglang bumulaga sa, sa mind ko. Sabi ko, oh my, parang ha? Di ba pang mga super veteran na yan? Di ba mga pang ano na yan? Mga, mga kaligan na ano na yan? Tapos sa isip ko, oh my god, hindi rin pala ako bata. <laughs> so, 30 years na rin naman. 30 years. 3 decades is now. A joke. joke. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, tatlong dekada ka na. Oo, oh, oh, araw-araw yan. Hmm. Hawa ng apps yan. Hindi ka pa napapagod na nag-report? Hmm, nakakapagod actually. Pero, ay, pero let's say, pag nagpapakasyon ako, kanyari out of the country, after mga two weeks, hinahanap ko na naman siya. So, it's, it's, I guess it's in my blood and it's something that I really enjoy. Yung stimulation is also good. It's your juices running. And then, syempre, parang magiging 
mas creative ka. And then I'm always thinking, how can we improve itong show namin? Ano pwede pa namin gawin Hands para mag-adapt? Hands-on ka rin. Yes, yes. Ang may natututunan ka rin, di ba? So of course, yes. Kaya nung minention nga sa akin, itungkol sa award. Feeling mo, bilang ano, uh, Excellence in Broadcasting Life and Achievement Award. Anong feeling Anong pakiramdam mo? Ang feeling ko, sobrang kuwa mm-hmm. and sobrang pasasalamat sa inyo, yung APC family ko. Parang I've seen you all these years, every year, di ba, nakikita tayo. <laughs> diba? Every single year. Tapos, um, I guess, I'm very grateful kasi there are people who support you na it means a lot to me na nakikita mo na validate yung mga ginagawa mo mm-hmm. kasi when you do things naman hindi mo iniisip ay para ma-nominate ako or something talagang ginagawa mo lang kasi wala ka nang time to think of anything else basta gusto mo lang pagandahin Pag- yun lang yung single purpose mo gusto mo pagandahin yung story mo gusto mo pagandahin yung work mo gusto mo maging proud yung company sa'yo sa work na ilalabas mo at the same time gusto mo it's accurate and it passes all the ano the, the rules of broadcasting mm-hmm. and um yon so that's why i'm very grateful to people like you yung mga nakatrabaho ko also kasi without them also hindi naman din ako matututo ng ganito yung mga nag-influence din sa akin um it's this is we don't do this alone Teachers. we're a team yes mm-hmm. we're so we're we're always a team we never this is never a solo person thing it's always a team you're always working with people who try to make you also, try to prop you up also. Parang tulong-tulungan niyan, lalo na minsan, wala ka na talagang resources, and then gipit ka na, talagang gagawa ka na lang ng paraan. So, I look back at those times, and I think na um, I've been blessed. Uh, I guess it's not enough that, you know, um, you, you work, I mean, you you work hard, but the, the now I know why people say na with um, luck comes hard work, or but the other way around, with hard work comes luck. You know, because hindi naman to basa swerte lang. You really have to put in the work also. Oh, na unahan pa si Corina Sanchez, <laughs> Ted Pailon. <laughs> Ay nako. Masasabog pa yung pag nakakatanggal sa yung hindi ng Wals of Palmer Malik. Naging challenge din siya para mas lang maging sa pili mo. Naging party? Hindi na pa, palma. Yung pagkakatanggal niya siya, pagkakasbak. Oh, At yung ba? challenge din na siya para mas lang mong kapunyan yung sa pili mo. Siyempre, kaya niya nang isa sa pinaka-memorable sa akin. I guess, like even for all of us, pag may mga setback talaga tayo sa buhay, you know how it is like in Ara, when you're pag lumulubog ka na sa pool and then you just you kick yourself up para biglang kumak- o umaw yun siguro yung time na kinik ko yung self mataas if you don't have that experience you'll always just be floating diba? you'll always be regular but you're in this business not to blend in you're in this business to stand out to do your best to be the best you can be for for your news organization. And I think that's one thing that it taught me. Yung setback na yon, sabi ko, I'm determined to get back. I know I can do this. Bigyan nyo lang ako ng panahon. I know I can do this. So I guess if you really put your mind to something and you really want something bad enough, talagang... Bibigyan ko na, ito ka ng panahon, di ba? So ang ka, kailan mo nakikita ang sarili mo na yung tatakan na rin ba niya, kasi kagaya ng Tina, ni Mel Chanko, for me, it's just like, oh, oh, one, yeah. um, one day at a time and then I'll see where it takes me. But for now, I've been saying that since I started and mm-hmm. now I'm here 30 years. It doesn't even feel like 30 years. Pag tinititan ko, oh my God. 30 years talaga. But it doesn't really feel at all like 30 years. Mm-hmm. Tapos ano, um, I, sometimes I ask myself, how long kaya will I keep doing this? I guess um, for, for as long as I'm strong enough to chase after stories, for as long as, oh, oh, for as long as kaya ko pang magpuyat, uh, kaya ko pang ano, mag, mag-juggle ng iba't ibang tasks, then gagawin ko talaga siya. But, yes. One last question na lang, ano yung gusto mo impart na? tips sa mga new-hubs para magtagaan tulad ng pinagalit 
Dahil marami nagsumuko at nangawag na sumuko pa sa sila. Like, eh, marami. Para sa mga kito. Sa iba. Preso si Polito, gano'n? Sa mga dami sumuko, pero sa hindi na tayo ng work. I think number one, Advice. integrity Advice. is really important. Uh, Hindi ka talaga pwedeng mabuhay sa profesyon na without integrity. Yeah. Yan ang number one talaga. Kung wala ka nun, huwag na lang, don't join na lang. Um, But that's one thing that has to be set in place. Hindi pwede yung parang gaganong-ganon ka. Hindi. Kailangan talagang straight arrow ka talaga. Um, Because there will be many chances, many things along the way that can happen that will test that. But it has to be very firm, the integrity. And then another thing is you have to be a team player. Because I think this profession, and maybe most professions, but you in your, it's all about marunong ka makisama, marunong ka makibagay sa tao. Because you need each other. Eh, hindi lang pweding magsaksi ka ng sarili mo. So. I think you really have to be kind to people, so because they help you, you help them, and that's how it works here and everywhere else. Ganon talaga siya. And then I guess you really have to put in the hard work. Later on, siguro pwede ka na magrelax ng konte pag medyo ano um later on. But but when you're starting out, you really have to put in the hard work. Walang shortcuts yan. It's always um. Uh, you have to learn everything, all the aspects of what you're doing, journalism. Like in my case, kahit na gusto ko talaga mag-news anchoring, you have to really learn the ropes when it comes to writing your story, setting your own interviews, setting the direction, and keep yourself updated always. Watch the newscast. See, bakit gusto-gusto ko yung news na to? Ano yung pwede kong i-adapt dito? Anong pwede kong gamitin on my own? So, and then I guess uh, maybe another thing is have a sense of family because sila talaga yung mag, uh, yung sasalo talaga sa'yo, whatever happens. And it's important to have that sense of security na alam mo. Kasi syempre, when you're in this world, sometimes, you know, people come and go, but when you have your family, that's the best response that in your life. Ako, ako na ang question. Uh, ano ang message mo sa mga taga-support ng mga sa mga televiewers na patuloy na tumatanggit sa inyo? Paay na ko. Siyempre, uh, I feel very grateful right now. I've never received a Lifetime Achievement Award. Parang ibang level na yon, di ba? So, and and um, I know, I, I don't give myself full credit for that. I give credit to the people who Help me get here to the people I love, to my family, to people like you. No, not talagang ano. Um, you would encourage me every step of the way. May good years, may years na medyo hindi masyado, but parang you're always trying to improve your craft because you know there are people watching and there are people who um who want to hold you to that a certain standard and you don't want to let them down. So kaya yon. And then also, um, shepherds sa mga viewers. Lalo na ngayon, I guess it's very, it's different now kasi may social media. Social media. So, medyo minsan na warp yung mga values. Minsan, nawawal, na erode yung respect sa isa isa. Nagkakaroon ng culture of hatred. And, um, sometimes there's no accountability anymore. Kasi, you can just randomly write things against other people. I think we have to always, um, maintain integrity, respect in all our dealings, and fairness, and if I may add, the most important, kindness. So, um, I think that those things, those things that I mentioned, those things will never change with social media. Because there are a lot of over the past couple of years. I've been here 30 years. I've seen news na na hindi kaya mag-live, tapos biglang all of a sudden, yung equipment mo, makakapag-live ka na wherever you are in, in the world. Pero yung say, parang kasing, parang, yung equipment mo malaki, tapos biglang all of a sudden, ganyan na siya kaliit, yung mga equipment na kaya mo mag-live anywhere. So, parati, kay, parati kami kahabol, you know, we're, trying, we're constantly trying to adapt. But these are the things that should never change. Integrity, fairness, kindness, and respect to others. Thank you.